Uh, shalom. <clears throat> First, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone that rule well, that taught us his truth. All right, salutations to the Archim, teaching the word of sincerity and truth, and blessings to the elect and the remnant of Israelites who are scattered worldwide who are predestined to be saved. This is Brother Yakal. Come with a short video, and Lord willing, it'll be edifying for you, um, brothers, and you few sisters out there. And um, this is basically, it's going to be based around this scripture, Jeremiah 2 and 14. All right, now. I'm going to show you this clip. And this is something that happened very recent. All right. And uh, this footage you're about to see and the culmination of it, you know, what happened is some of the most sickening, disgusting um, things I've ever seen in my life. But. Let's kick it off. Thanks. This morning, a Shreveport family is demanding answers after their son's near drowning at a lake, Lake Darbonne, with friends. And joining me this morning is the family, Christopher Gilbert's mom, along with the family attorney, one of the attorneys, Claudia Payne. Thank you so much for joining me. So let's talk about Chris. Uh, what happened? When did you get the call? I got the call possibly around uh, 8 on April 14th on a Sunday. She told me that um, Chris had fell into the lake and he had been out the water for 20 minutes or so. And I was like, 20 minutes? Why was he under the water for 20 minutes? was my first reaction. And she was just like, oh my gosh, she just kept crying hysterically. And I was like, what is it? He's being airlifted to Shreveport. Um, you know, we immediately started calling around, trying to find out where would he be, where would he go. And they informed me that the only trauma unit they have is Ashna. So we got the option. They didn't have a call coming in saying that, you know, um, a plane was about to land. But eventually, about 20 or 30 minutes or so, they got the call saying that he was on the way. He was 10 minutes out. It's like he, they got the call, like, right before they landed. And um, initially, when my son got there, <clears throat> the doctor called us in and told me that at that time that um, he was brain dead pretty much. And the rest of his organs were starting to fail, and they, we had 72 hours on um, the ECMO machine. ECMO is like um, sort of like dialysis for the lungs, and they had to put him on a ventilator. Wow. And so I'm going to bring in one of your family attorneys, Claudia Payne, working along Lee Merritt. That's uh, And you guys have learned more. Tell us yes. what you learned. Did he fall into the lake? Was he pushed into the lake? So initially, as the mother reported, we initially thought that he fell in in the lake. That was what the friend group um, uh, initially reported to officers. Soon after, and I, I guess after more investigation, they soon found out that he was actually pushed by a female within that fan group, friend group. She actually admitted to mom, as well as the police officers, that she pushed him into the lake. Was this horseplay, or was it mad, or? Well, uh, in... in in the legal field, we characterize things the way we see fit. So, of course, they are saying uh, horseplay. We are saying that it was a criminal, intentional push into the lake. And why didn't anybody go in after him? Well, now we've seen a video where one of the friend, one of the friends in this group, okay. attempted to go into the water briefly. Um, but they were neither one of the individuals, a part of that friend group, were the ones to retrieve him from the actual water. Okay, uh, we have video of uh, Lake Darbon, and shortly after he went in, uh, can we share that video, please? Uh, tell me what's going on here, Claudia. Okay, so this is actually. Uh, Oshner LSU. We took this video this morning because this currently is where Chris is at this time. That's correct. correct. Is within their care. Okay. Uh, this is a more recent uh, photo of Chris. This is approximately three days, uh, three days ago. Mm -hmm. His uh, condition or his staff. It doesn't necessarily get better, but it does change. It's different. Uh, the, the the amount of work that the machines are doing on okay. his behalf is constant. Uh, his, his his lungs are said to be at twenty percent. So. He doesn't really, his status doesn't really get better, it's just different. Is he responding? He is cognitive, he is, re 
responding okay. mentally. He cannot vocalize anything currently, okay. uh, but he he's able to give a thumbs up and a nod of the head right now. Okay, now those were the pictures that show some promise, but let's look at the pictures when you first saw Chris at uh, Oshner LSU. Uh, Yolanda, uh, these are... Alright, so I hope you're following the story so far. Alright, this Israelite guy was with his um, Edomite friends. They knew he couldn't swim. And a, a, w w one of them, which is a young Edomite girl, pushed him in the lake, you know, as a joke. And he was under there for 10 minutes, man. Alright? And none of them went in to try and get him out. You know, one briefly did. You know, and came out again. You know, and it and and it was a, it was someone uh, uh, who wasn't you know related to the group or anything like that that went in and got him out. You know, all right, let's keep going. And remember, over there in America, you have to pay for all this medical treatment, man. Or not actually, these are the after pictures of. What was your, going through your mind when you first saw him? Because he was just lying there with a bunch of tubes. Um, which, when I first saw yes. him, I was devastated. Like, I felt as though my life had ended in that moment. Like, my son is aspiring to be a, a medical doctor. My son is, you know, going to be a medical doctor. He has a master's degree? He has a, he got his master's last year wow. in biological science. Mm -hmm. And he's preparing for medical school, so for this to happen to him, um, and just, my son is like so sweet, this most selfless being you'll ever meet, and for it to happen to him, like I was just devastated. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what is it that you are fighting for now? I want uh, the young lady who pushed my son, who admitted to me, in the family uh, waiting area, that night at the hospital, because their friend group came to the hospital, still telling me the same fabricated story that he fell. I learned at that moment in the ER, the sheriff called me, and he told me, are you familiar with what happened? Yeah, he was at the lake, and he fell, he was like, no. Um, one of the young ladies pushed him, and I'm like, who pushed him? And I start looking around the room, which one of y'all pushed him? Mm -hmm. You know, the young lady, like, I did. And I was like, why would you push my son in the lake knowing he couldn't swim? Um, she said, well, ma'am, I didn't know that man couldn't swim and I was like who is that man this is supposed to be amongst groups of friends right, right? Who is you hear what she said you know so when so when the you know she questioned the white woman why would you do that to him you know he couldn't swim she said I didn't know that man couldn't swim that man these are supposed to be his friends all right let's continue Okay, so now you've seen the back, you know, the background of the case. Now, this guy pulls through, all right, and what he does is one of the most sickening things I've ever seen, man. But it's going to show, it's going to give you an example of why us in this truth, especially us at Great Millstone. That's why we don't give two shits about the two thirds. This mofo comes out and completely 
Okay. See, now this is him after the fact, and look at his hair, man. Blonde hair on his head. That's that's a telltale sign of Stockholm syndrome. All right. When 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 you are so-called Negro and you're dyeing your hair blonde, it's 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 a red flag, man. You know, it's a red flag because who has blonde hair? All right, they do. All right, and this is the bitch that pushed him in the water and spoke to his mum so rudely and was lying to his mum. I didn't know that that man can swim. You see, see, but listen to his response anyway. Make anyone make me intentional. I knew it was gonna happen. Yeah, what he said. He said. He said. He said. They didn't do it intentionally. He goes, I knew it was going to happen. kind of thought maybe, like, I would just, the water wouldn't be as deep. I would kind of get, like, hit the ground, get my footing up. See, he's making excuses for them. All right, continue. Come back up and hit, grab the pier. Just kind of stand up there. So, and then the water ended up being deeper than we thought. And it being a lot colder than we thought. Relief, I thought. I got and then, look at his crack of friends, right? All right, that's one of his family members there, I think. This guy on the right here is the new solicitor. He got rid of the black woman solicitor, and that's the new solicitor. And I guarantee that solicitor is related to one of these cracker friends. All right, so he's not going to pursue the case. You know, I mean, this is in incredible, man. You know, and that's why the two thirds. Of our people need to die, man. Uh, it was, was very really, like, emotional because it's been three weeks since I've seen any of He goes, um, is he, he, did you hear what this nigga just said? He said, it, it was emotional because it's, I, it's been three weeks since I've seen, any, seen, not seen any of them. They pushed you into a lake when you could not swim. Oh my God. This, this guy almost was brain damaged. Because of his so-called friends. Bro, I don't know what they did to him in this hospital. Maybe they injected him with some some cool serum. Just yeah. Hold up, make sure it's clear. Just yeah, up. man. We're almost there. Yeah, he's a Bro, coon. I don't know what <laughs> what happened. He's a coon. He's a coon. I don't know what happened, but the story did a one eighty. It did a one eighty. He comes out, and it's like, what do you want to say? It's yeah. out of his mouth, bro. It's out of the horse's mouth. He told him like, yo, no. Absolutely, there was no nothing racial involved. That's a lie. And as far as anything racially motivated. I mean, look at and, and you notice he 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 actually pushes forward to the camera. You know, to emphasize this point. That's completely false. I beg your pardon. Racially motivated. That's completely false. Let's cut again. Wow, man. You know? I'm going to leave it at that for now, man. You know? He's got Stockholm Syndrome, like the majority of our people. And you know what? That's the why the two-thirds have to die. In Babylon, the great, man. All right? Jeremiah 2 and 14. Is Israel a servant? And it's got a question mark there. Is he a homeborn slave? Question mark. Why is he spoiled? And what does spoil mean? Spoiled means to take something away from you. Alright? And that's what the Lord has done. He's taken away our language, our culture, our heritage, our history. He's allowed the devil to whitewash our history. You know? So our people don't, don't know who they are. You know? Some of our people don't know that, you know, they're related to King David, King Solomon. 
all these great people, you know, the house of David. They don't know that they were, you know, you know, related to, you know, historical figures like Joan of Arc and uh, Henry VIII. They just think that they've just been slaves. And that's the result, man. A guy like that. All right. So is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? And if you go to that same scripture, and I put it in the blue letter, for the, and, and I put it in the NLT, and look what it says. Remember, this is the results. Look at the headline here. The results of Israel's sin. All right. Sin is our kryptonite. All right. And what is sin? Transgression of the law. Not keeping God's law, statutes and commandments. We were given it. The Lord only gave it to us. So, obviously, that's why he's punishing us, you know, <laughs> for our iniquities. And you can't be... <laughs> I, I, I'm telling you, listen, my life is shit, man. But I'm glad that I didn't turn out like that guy, man. You know? All right? <laughs> I'm glad he didn't turn out like that nigga. That nigga is a disgrace, man. All right? This is Jeremiah 2 and 14. Why has Israel become a slave? Question mark. All right? Why has he been carried away as plunder? And it's true. The Arabs plundered us in the Arab slave trade. And then the Edomites in the transatlantic slave trade. Okay? But that's the results of our sin. So that's why with or what Yahushua did, the sacrifice, he adopted us back into the Heavenly Father's good graces. So we can't muck this up. Because the alternative is to be like that coon over there, man. And there's a good channel here that I saw this um, story. And it's called Run... <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. It's called Runaway Slave 2.0. All right? It's a damn good channel. Runaway Slave 2.0. All right? Saying that he didn't like people saying that he was brain dead. He said... I and it's talking about this guy. Lie. See, look. He's saying, no, these are my friends. It was a joke. So... They went and got this little raggedy Negro, Chris Gilbert, here on a Zoom interview. And this is what he said. And I'm reading the New York Post. Yeah. He said, I don't think anyone did anything intentionally wrong. Wow, man. Okay. He revealed that he and 10 friends, including this girl, Holland, were at Rex Tales and Shells, a Farmville restaurant. And by the way, that restaurant was, was serving... Um, uh, uh, shrimp and lobster Which is abominable food Alright Now if you can't swim Why would you go um, Why You know why, why Why would you go On a lake And you know And do this Canoeing If you can't swim You know Look at him He's got blonde hair He's sticking his tongue out With his cracker Woman You know Friend And they don't care about you man they don't care about you. They they didn't they didn't even risk their lives to and this is the woman that actually pushed him in the the lake. You know? And the sad thing is, look, the sad thing is the sad thing is that he's gonna he's probably gonna die a coon. Alright? That's why you should thank the Lord no matter what we go through. Hey listen, I'll be honest with you, right now I can't even uh you know and if if, if 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 you send up prayers to me to Yahab Hashem I'll be I'll be grateful. Right now I can't even see out of my right eye that much. All right, you know because I've had a hemorrhage in my eye. You know, there's blood everywhere and I can't see it. You know, I'm not gonna run to the hospital. You know, and say, oh no, this has happened. This that. I'm just gonna have faith in the Lord, man. You know, despite all the 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 stuff that I you know that we go through. All right, be thankful that you're in this truth and you're not like this guy. This guy is a complete slave, man. Huh? All right. And he's probably trying to bone this woman. And he will, he might get there once or twice. But none of these, none of these Edomite women like her is ever going to respect him. They're never going to respect him. You know why? 
because they didn't respect him in the first place. They would have never done that. Any, if any friend of mine knew that I couldn't swim and push me in, in a lake, none, they're not my friends. Yeah. When they get around white females, they often disrespect their black mothers. Okay? Mm. What they do is they get yeah. around white females, a lot of black dudes like him. So basically... About claims of him being brain dead, yeah, I mean, I mean, he's basically a coon, all right? And that's what that scripture, Jeremiah 2 and 14, is going to, is, is, is basically alluding to. So be thankful that you're not one of these people, man, all right? Be thankful that the Lord's brought you in this truth, no matter what you're going through, man, all right? And the reason why they think they've got away with anything is because it's their society. It's all about power. And the reason why he's not going to press charges and he changed attorneys is because of how the Lord set things up. Isaiah 26 and 10. Let favor be shown to the wicked. All right. And favor is shown to these Edomites, so-called white people. They're the wicked. Favor is shown to them. Why? Because they're in power. All right. Yet will he not learn righteousness. All right, so that they, you know, favor shown to them, and you can show them favor, but they will never be righteous. All right, they'll never deal with you in a just manner. All right, and in the land of uprighteousness, will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord? All right, and if you look at our, and you look at what they, uh, um, uh, uh, the least of the flock is doing over there in our homeland. All right, those Amalekites, you know, they're they're definitely dealing unjustly. <laughs> you know, especially with them people over there in Gaza. You know, it's sad, man. So that guy is is, and you know what? A lot of our people are like this. All right, a lot of our people are like this, man. All right, a lot of our people are like this, and I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to show you one more case, and this is uh, 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 one of the most sickening things. Again, Hello, the same channel. All right, because it's not just our, our 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 men that have this problem; our women have it much more. Okay, and this was. Uh, a case. Um, her name is Jay Winters. You know. And she was making videos. Look. Look, she was making videos because she's on a yacht. You know, and she's with her her Edomite man. You know, the guy has a yacht. And, and look at the way she's carried on. See, look. See, she's she's living a life. She's, you know, her, her Edomite man's got a yacht. You know, she's loving it. You know, but let's see how it ended anyway. Let's just say that it happened last week. And what's the difference to the list, the listener anyway? There's a lesson in these stories. Now, the sister in this video that you've seen on the yacht is Jerry Winters. Yep. Now, Jerry Winters, she was in a relationship with a white American man in Michigan named Matthew Lewinsky. He's 37 years of age. Yep. Now, these two, Jerry Winters and Matthew Lewinsky, they appear to be doing great. You've seen her on the yacht right there. Fool that bit. Bills. Neighbors said that they can be heard beefing over neighbors and bills. They said that they can be heard, they can hear them sometimes arguing through the wall, yelling, and they knew that this was over usually money and bills yeah and money and bills so they're arguing over money and bills let's continue now the conflicts between the two of them it may have been other things as well but that's one thing that stood out but the conflicts the back and forth that they were having led to jerry winters leaving the house in addition there was a neighbor who lives near them that said that matthew the white boyfriend told her that jerry the black woman was abusive towards him. <laughs> he said that she was abusive to 
towards him. Really? Other neighbors also said that Jeremy Winters, the black woman, she appeared to be a nice person, uh, but they think that she was a uh, she had issues with drinking. But who knows? Who knows? These white neighbors could be saying anything. That's you true. Know? But this is what they said. Now, Jerry Winters left the house in November of 2020. Due to them two going back and forth, she left the house. Uh, this neighbor also said that Matthew Lewinsky told her that if that B comes back, I won't let her in. I won't let her in. But a month later, Jerry Winters came back and she moved back in. Mm. She should have stayed gone. She should have stayed gone. Because one month after she came back, in December of 2020, she came back. These two are arguing again. They're arguing. They start fighting. Matthew Lewinsky went into full rage, wrapped his arms around Jerry Winter's neck, took her life, took her out of here, okay? Hmm. After he realized that she was gone, Matthew Lewinsky took Jerry Winter's lifeless body down to the basement Wow. Put her body on top of a tarp and left her there. And this guy, Matthew, <laughs> lived with her body down there in that basement, just like that, for eight months. No wow. ice, no freezer, nothing. Just like that. Wow. Okay? He was not found out until his sister came over. She seen the body down in the basement. She called the police. <laughs> wow. That's when he was found out. And it's just that stupid, y'all. <laughs> Neighbors did say that they smelled a stench coming from this house for several months. Very strong. But they assumed that it was just a dead animal somewhere. There you go, man. All right. So she loved this this devil. All right. So much. Then the money stopped coming in. They were arguing. And he wrapped her, his 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 cracker arms around her neck and killed her, man. And disrespected her so much. He just left her in the basement. Her body just rotted there for eight months. That people could do. I mean, what kind of sick bastard would do anything like that? See, that's why we're we're doing you a favor by doing these lessons. We're warning you. Of how sick these people are, man. You know? And at least he got caught and got some prison time. I mean, look at this guy. You see? If there was a, a situation where it was me or him, alright? The police is going to uh, believe this guy. But he's a psychopath. Okay? But favor is shown to the wicked. But they will not learn righteousness. So... The best thing to do is to stay away from them, man. Huh? All right? Stay away from them, you know? And pray that the Lord keeps you in his truth. All right? It is Proverbs 21 and 10. The soul of the wicked desire of evil. So all that time he's making love to his woman, having a yacht and all that stuff. You know, this, that, and the other. Really, deep down in his soul, all right, in his soul, it says the soul of the wicked desire evil. He had those evil thoughts. You know why? Because she was black. I guarantee you, if she was a, a cracker woman, he would have maybe choked her a little bit and, and would have released her and said, get out of the house. You know? So the soul of the wicked desire of evil, his neighbor findeth no favor in his eyes. All right? So, you ain't going to get no favor from these devils, okay? So, look. The only favor we have or we can attain is if we stay in his truth, man. All right? Okay? And that's when we have that spiritual hedge of protection around us. And the last scripture, and we're going to close. I didn't want to make it that long. Proverbs 16 and 7. When a man's ways please the Lord... He maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. All right? And that's what's going to happen with the elect. All right? 144,000, all the men. But the other elect, all right? Men, women, and children of our nation, there's going to be a spiritual hedge around them. All right? And even 
when these devils uh, 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 want to do something, all right, or let's say you're in a situation where usually a cracker will do harm, the Lord will put it in their minds to be at peace with you. And we've had plenty of examples of that, man, especially when we've been teaching on the street, all right? So the only, the, the, the only favor we get, you know, is if we stay in this truth. It, it, I mean, and you saw her video, you know, she was on the yacht boasting about it, and she was talking about bitches this, bitches that. She's 30 plus, and she was acting like a teenager, man. All right? So that's how the Lord is taking out our people. So be warned, man. All right? So I pray you're edified to the next one. Shalom.